Hi, I'm Ben, and at Fridger we've been selling clothes steamers for over five years now. From shops to fashion catwalks to humble homes all across the world, clothes steamers are an amazing way of providing garment care, avoiding the iron, and avoiding the dry cleaners. Here are my top five tips on how to use a clothes steamer. Tip number one, position your body correctly. Pay attention to where the hose is and make sure that it doesn't get folded or double-crossed unnecessarily. Pay attention to your body. Hold the steam ahead with one hand and with your other hand, hold the clothes taut. Tip number two, technique. Just like driving a car or making a sandwich, using a clothes steamer takes a certain amount of practice. Our natural inclination is to use a steamer just like we use an iron, with a flat head pressed right up to the garment. But this doesn't work for a clothes steamer, as there's nowhere for the steam to come out. Instead of pressing the clothes steamer head right up against the fabric, lean it forward so that only the top curve touches the clothes. With your other hand, make sure the material's taut and stroke the clothes up and down with the clothes steamer head. That makes sure that all the creases pop out and you don't get unnecessary water on your clothes. Tip number three, extend the pole and don't hurt your back. It's advisable to make your steamer as tall as possible, so always fully extend the pole. Be mindful that there's hot steam coming from the base of the steamer to the steamer head, so always make sure that the hose is as straight as possible. Tip number four, Take your time and go slowly. If you've never used a clothes steamer before, it does take a certain knack. Waving a steamer around like a magic wand might not get all the creases out and you might end up burning yourself. Start with something easier, something thinner and a bit more delicate and work your way up to something a bit more complicated. Tip number five. If your clothes steamer came with accessories in the box, use them. A hand mat can be excellent when thinking about things like collars of shirts or even using behind curtains. Really good also if you're a little bit worried about burning yourself the first few times you use it. Fabric brushes can remove dust and lint. The clasp attachment's excellent for putting creases in fronts of trousers, pleats, and of course, the arms of a shirt. Our hanger can be really handy too. Put the clothes on a hanger like this. Make sure that when you're hanging up shirts, hang them away from you, just like this, and make sure that the button is on the outside of the pole. You'll find it much easier when steaming. If you're in a shop environment, you might find that you can use your own hanger much faster. However, using our hanger will be much more sturdy. Our F1400 model has also got an adjustable hanger, so ideal if you want to do men's wool jackets or denim coats like this, and also great if you need to make it smaller for little kids' clothes, just like here. Thank you so much for watching our top five tips on how to use a clothes steamer. We're sure that out there you're already using clothes steamers, so the question is, did we miss any tips out? We'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. If you like this video, please do go wild on that like button, and if you wanna see more content like this, just hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now and we'll see you in the next one.